Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put stickers or decals or whatever you want to call it on different objects. So for example, here we've got the West logo and I've just put it onto the wall. And as you see, it blends in perfectly. You've got like the textures of the rocks on the, the logo or whatever. So it's basically like a spray, but yeah, you can put it anywhere you want and with whatever picture you want. So I'll get straight into how to do this. The first thing you want to do is go to your content folder for whatever project you're doing and then right click and press new folder. And we're just going to call this I'll just call it overlays. After we've made that folder, we want to open our overlays folder, press add up here and hit material. So we've created a new material and we're just going to hit enter there. And to this folder, we also want to add whatever image is the image that we want to add as the overlay. So I'm going to quickly pull an image in. And as you can see, you can see it there. Now what we want to do is hit right click on our new material and press edit. So it should open you up to this new screen. Now there are a couple settings that we're going to want to change first. We're going to go over to the side here under material you see material domain we want to change that to deferred decal and blend mode we want to change that to translucent and you should see nothing in the little image thing here now what we want to do is make this tab a bit smaller and drag our picture into the page and as you can see it's just popped up here and there's a couple things we want to drag here we'll drag rgb to base color and we want to drag A to opacity. Now what we want to do is after we've put everything in, then we want to right click this and press convert to parameter. So this is going to make it easy to create other decals. And you should see parameter, we just hit enter here. And there we go. Now we just want to hit save. And we can close out of this back to our projects. You should see new material here. Now what we want to do, create material instance. So this will create a separate instance. And then now with this instance, which is the same thing as this, we can just drag and drop our decal onto whatever we want to put it onto, basically. Now, as you can see, it does look a little funky. It doesn't look exactly how we want to. So there are some things we can do to change it. We want to select our new decal and go to the rotation so we can rotate it. And basically, you're just trying to rotate it until it looks straight and nice. And as you can see, it's gone a little square. So what we want to do to change that is go to select scale objects and then we can just drag it out to make it match to size. So that's perfect. And then to make the whole decal bigger, we can just drag this out. And again, if it looks off, you can just drag out the size. And just like that, we have a ooh, very big logo. Might make that a bit smaller. And just like that, we have a logo that is perfectly adjacent to the wall and as you can see the texture from the rock is uh, showing on the decal so yeah it matches the terrain perfectly now you should be able to see once we've loaded into the game yeah there it is we have our brand new logo added to the side of the wall and as you can see it's like perfectly attached like it's basically on the wall and you can see sort of the texture from the rock like in the decal so yeah, it looks like it's like fully printed onto there. So I think it looks really good. One more thing you can do to create another decal from your existing one is take the new material instance that you made and we're just gonna duplicate that. And then if we right click it, go into edit and tick the param box, which is the parameter that we did before. We're able to just drag a new image on top of that. Drag the pink logo into the box and escape out of that. Then we can just drop this onto the wall, resize it like we did before. And just like that, we have another logo. If this did help you guys, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Have a great day, guys.